Students, hello. Um, I don't know if this is working, so let's just hope for the very best here. I just asked a handful of students in King's class if they would prefer to have a sub show a PowerPoint or just watch the PowerPoint or look through it themselves, and they said, you should make a video. And, you know, I can't, I can't make the students unhappy. I know everybody wants to see a video all the time. Um, so here's an introduction to our next project. And if you are still working on your fiber coil basket, that's fine. You can use class today to keep working on that, and then you can just do your sketches and stuff later. Um, the sketches are a really easy thing to do in study hall or during stat too. So that's, I think you should just focus on, on the fiber baskets if you want, okay? So our next project, we are going to do um, painted masks inspired by famous artists, okay? So you're gonna pick an artist who is famous, you're gonna find a piece of artwork of theirs that you want to recreate, and then you're gonna get these canvas masks that I just ordered from Amazon yesterday. So um, hopefully they get here by the end of the week, and you're gonna recreate the, the painting, the famous piece of artwork on the canvas mask, okay? So I just have on this PowerPoint a bunch of examples of what students have done in the past, okay? And these are just things to get you started, to get looking at it, so you kind of get the idea of what we're doing. Um, the point of this project, you know, like any time you're trying to recreate a masterpiece of artwork, it helps you become a better painter. Uh, we cannot use these sorts of pieces of artwork in art shows because it is plagiarism. You'd have to get uh, the piece approved by whoever made the piece of artwork or probably the art museum that owns the piece of artwork. But it is, like I said, it's a good skill set to have. It's a good technique um, and way to learn how to paint better, to try to recreate something that somebody else made, okay? So to begin, we're not even going to jump to the canvas masks yet. We have quite a bit of work to do before we even get there. You're going to use the artist worksheet from Google Classroom um, and do some research on, on the artist that you chose. And actually, now that I say that... Um, Wait, what's first? Okay, the first you should get this handout, which is at the front of the classroom by the other whiteboard. Um, and what I want you to do is go through this list of artists. So this this talks it all the way through, but essentially you pick a number. This is a way for me to get you to research a couple different artists, assuming that you're coming in not knowing some of the artists on this list. If there's an artist you see and you're like, yes, I want to do one of their pieces of artwork, great. Circle that artist right away. Um, otherwise, write down a number and then just count. Like, my number is always nine. That's my favorite number. So I would count like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then Edward Hopper, I would circle. And then I would count nine more times and circle that artist. And that's just a basic, you know, five artists to get you started. Because otherwise, that's a, quite an overwhelming list. You also could go through and say, this name looks interesting, or maybe I've heard about this artist and choose those artists too, but I want you to look up five artists um, to get an idea of whose you want to recreate, okay? So once you've seen those five artists, like a, a few pieces of their artwork, um, maybe decide which one you'd want to do and just recreate the sketch really quickly. This is not, oh, whoops, I'm messing things up. Um, this is not like a detailed sketch. This is just like getting your ideas down on paper, okay? So three different artists to choose from. By the time you're done making those thumbnail sketches, again, very quick sketches, you hopefully will have an idea of which artists you want to choose and can research them further. So then there's a, a Google Doc that I'll share with you in Google Classroom that looks like a you know blank version of this Alexander Calder worksheet that I have filled out. Alexander Calder's my favorite artist. I just adore him. And that first picture, that's him roaring like a lion that he created out of wire. Um, he invented the mobile and is known for that and his stabiles, which are these big uh, sculpture structures that you've seen around, including the Flamingo, which is in Chicago. I think that's a piece that people mostly know about his. So you're going to take the time in class today to fill out that other worksheet. I just saw I only have 20 seconds left to say this. Fill out that other worksheet first, and if you get to it, you can start filling out this Google Classroom doc um, about which artists you picked and all of the information in there. So email me if you have questions. I'll be back after STAT today. So I'd be happy to help you out, and I will see you later. Bye.